<laughs> it's way faster! Pre-orders for this one of one hoodie are now live at 53supply.com. You guys make sure you go and check them out. These are gonna be so tight. But today, we've got a very special delivery from Cobb Tuning. Huge thanks to them for sending this stuff out for the GTR. Also, I did have to change to for summer festivities. Dude, let me tell you what. The collection just keeps getting cooler. Ooh, a couple things. I think I've decided what I wanna do is I really want to do an all-wheel drive case swap but I don't think I need two, to be honest. My goal really was to have two Hondas to race the, each other, but this one blew up so fast because I can't control myself and I told Ethan to go more boost. So I think what I'm gonna do is keep this car, because this car is clean. I'm gonna get it repainted, and um, yeah, I think we're gonna ditch this shell. Also, this car, this car is amazing. I'm super stoked to even have the opportunity to own a JZX in my life. Jerome, you, you liking this one? This car's got a weird issue to where uh, it takes a long time to start and usually that's indicative of a bad fuel filter, maybe even pump as well. So I went ahead and got both of those. So we've got a few things to do to this car. This car is fast, dude. Like, I'm gonna make some more videos of me just like kind of like ripping it in this car, but I think this car, like, it'd probably beat like a tuned Evo. Nonetheless, we have a Nissan GTR in our midst and it's 480 horsepower and that's just not fast enough. I do have a lot more parts coming, but thanks to Cobb for sending us some of this stuff out. Guys, I have a lot of goodies for you guys today. I think you're really gonna like this. Oh, whoops, that's for the Honda. Never mind, sorry. I used to think unboxing videos were kind of dumb until I did one. I don't know what it is. Like, what's so satisfying about watching somebody unbox something? But it's like, it's like Christmas that you don't have to like do yourself, but you can watch somebody have Christmas. I don't know. Whatever. This is car park Christmas, baby. The Cobb sticker. Okay, so this is gonna be intense, guys. This is a very cool set of stuff that we are about to show you guys here. So as you can see, I've got some pipes. But here's what's special about these. These are incredibly light. You guys wanna know why they're incredibly light? You're gonna have to wait a second. I'll show you. Got some goodies. Thanks, Cobb, for sending all this out. Are these, uh, I don't know, intakes? Ooh. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, dude. Always cut away from yourself, boys. As I literally cut towards myself. And don't do that. Oh, look at those. Teeny tiny, sleek, not O'Reilly brand. Ooh, carbon fiber. Ooh, that's actually, whoa, bro. That is real dry carbon fiber. That is real carbon. That's not printed on or anything. This is dry carbon fiber. Yo, dude. Okay, I see you, I see you, Cobb. Let's talk about why this one is so light. Cannot scratch these, I cannot scratch these, dude. This is Christmas right here. Boys, this pipe, both pipes, are carbon fiber. That's right, boys. I have carbon fiber intakes for the R35. This is insane. I'm stoked to be able to run these. Oof, I, I have so much to say right now, but I don't want to spoil anything yet. Let's keep unboxing, because we're not done yet. What's in this large floppy boy? Actually, let's talk about this for a second. How inefficient is it to, to cut away from yourself? I feel like, like, oh, maybe that actually, okay, that actually worked really well. I feel like I have less, okay, that actually works really well. Never mind, guys, I'm safe. Okay, yep. Yeah. Go ahead and keep that in there for now. Dude, we got so much stuff in here. We got one, ba -ba, two, ba -ba, three, spy. What? Oh, yo. Some more cobbies. Wow, we got so much goodies. Hey, look at this. Big fans, brother. Cob Warehouse. J, C, Bass, and Chan. Man, you guys are awesome. Bruh. We got hella stuff. And stickers, bro. We're always looking for stickers. Hold on, you know where these stickers are gonna go? Some are gonna go upstairs on my refrigerator, and some are gonna go right here. All right, so I'm just gonna say, I'm pretty sure everybody who's been in the modified car world knows what the access port is. But if you don't, let me briefly explain. The access port is a really cool platform that allows you to tune your car. So in the access port, you have some accessories. This is gonna be like to hook up to the OBD2. And then you have this nice, beautiful box. This is actually how I proposed to Victoria. Fun fact, my mom and I pretended that she got me an access port for Christmas, even though we already had one. And I opened it up, 
and there's a ring inside. But I'm not, pro I'm not proposing to you guys this time. I am proposing that you guys should check out this access port V3. This access port does several things for me. It has preloaded maps on the car so that I don't have to get a Pro Tune or a Dino Tune. I don't actually have to go to a tuner. My intent today is to put some form of tune onto the GTR, probably just a stage one, but there are lots of different varieties and options based on your modifications. They make these for lots of different cars. I have one for my Evo, but the screen actually cracked, rest in peace. I had one for my Subaru, they make them for plenty of cars. You name it, if it has a turbo or if it's like a modified car, they probably have it for you. I'm very excited to give the GTR a little bit more power, just a little boost. But I will say, here in the next week, this car is gonna do a whole freaking 180 and it's not going to be just off the shelf tunes, it's going to be a beast. I'm going to put this up real quick just to keep it nice and safe. Somebody farted into this box and sent it to me, dude. Yep, somebody definitely farted in a box and boxed it up and sent it to me. Well, you guys need to see the GTR in the background. What the heck, dude? All right, so this is a CAN gateway. This is insane. So you guys have seen flex fuel kits, right? This is Cobb's new CAN gateway. It allows a lot more precise fueling for flex fuel. If you guys don't know what flex fuel is, it allows you to run E85 and Octane fuels at all at the same time so your computer can adjust. So like if I go on a road trip, I can fill up on E85 or I can fill up on 93 or bad E85 won't necessarily hurt the car. Very nice, like CNC quality. I'm stoked. And more stickers, dude. I'm not even gonna know what to do with all these stickers. So there are very few things I'll actually be installing today, but over the next week, we'll be using quite literally all of this. Next box, I towards myself again, dude. I'm gonna die one day. Okay, so this, I believe, is part of their actual flex fuel kit. You can see it's literally just a bunch of wires and connectors that go to a certain place. Gateway harness and bracket kit. So that's gonna utilize exactly what I just opened for you. <laughs> it just keeps coming, dude. Ah. No, Evan, we're gonna be safe today. Away, guys. Away from yourself. So this box is the big, big Omega. This is what you would see if you have an R35 GTR and you decide to just go flex fuel. This is the flex fuel kit. A fuel line, usually no fuel lines in a car, aren't rated super well for E85, so you get something like this, and it's a lot safer to run. This is the doohickey. No, this is not a gun, so don't be triggered. This looks like a weapon. It actually is kind of a weapon. It's a weapon to defeat other Mustangs and other GTRs on the road. If we don't walk somebody, this is weapon of choice. Here is some more bracketry, just to allow the, the flex fuel stuff to, to kind of sit there. I got three more boxes, dude. Actually, what's the spy? You did not just send me freaking spy sunglasses. They did, they sent me spy Sunglasses that say Cobb on them. Bro. <laughs> All right, dude. Towards my thumb again, dude. Look at that. Look how close I am to dying right there. Look, my thumb's gonna freaking. Ah! This looks to be. It looks like maybe a pressure regulator or like monitoring system. I'm gonna see what else is in this little bag. Got even got some luby, some lubies, dude. Look at that. That looks like something that would go, that would regulate some fuel. It says, fuel pressure monitoring kit for CAN Gateway. Dude, what a unit. All right, and last one. Oh my God, they even sent Jerome a hat. And socks. Turbo socks. Yo, dude, you're gonna look so fresh, my guy. We're really kind of like earthing you out right now, you know what I mean? Like, you're probably just like sitting there naked in your other in your other little world that you're in. But you know, at least you're out of Area 51. Here, I'm gonna clothe you up, okay? We're gonna put some socks on you. Jerome, unlock the freaking door, man. I wanna put some socks on you, man. Just keep them on for like 10 minutes. Are you serious? Give me your feet, Jerome. Give me your feet. What is wrong with your feet, bro? Are you serious? What the hell is wrong with your foot, dude? Why does it look like this? Tell me. Jerome, you're gonna look nice for our family. You're gonna put these on, you're gonna like it. Bro, you are stunting right now, man. If even if alien girls were even a thing, you they would be all over you right now. Too bad you're the only one on earth, my guy, dude. Now, we're gonna go ahead and move to my favorite part. Okay. We're gonna get it set up now. All right, so I'm installing this to the ECU. A previous tune has been detected and will be lost forever if you continue. What? All right, so as you can see, I got a bunch of stuff here to update the map. So anti-theft mode, stage zero, stage one plus, and it actually like has difference of 91 octane, 93 octane. 
So we have 93. I'm going to do stage one for 93 octane for now because I have no I have no modifications to this car. Continue. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Make sure it starts up. Okay. I will say this car has no transmission rattle now that it has a stage one map on it, which is weird. <laughs> I just did some pulls and uh, it is much faster now. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tune this car had on it. Let's see. Dude, this car is feeling so much better now. So I know this car does not have downpipes. So like, let's see the engine bay. Just if I didn't pay enough attention before. Okay, so actually, these are aftermarket intakes it seems like. That's definitely a three inch intake. So we're gonna have to change the map. Okay, let's give her a start. That should make this a lot happier. Definitely turn AC on. All right, so now we're idling a little differently. We don't seem to be going straight up to like 90 AFRs. That's pretty damn good. We're watching AFRs at the same time. This is just kind of starting. Like a week from now, this car is going to be 150 more horsepower than this. Wow. You know, it's kind of funny driving the car around. I kind of felt like the tune was a little iffy, but I was like, no, nah, there's no way this car's been tuned. It looks too stock. And then I guess I just didn't pay enough attention that this car had intakes. But whoever tuned this car, whatever car or whatever tune it had on it, was just subpar. It was, I guess the car was originally from New York, so it could have been just a 90 or really crappy 91 octane tune. Yeah, that's true. Stoked, man. Dude, that's like half throttle. This feels like a hundred horsepower faster than it was. Yeah. I'd be I'm curious to curious, see yeah. the Evo against this now. Even I know, with, I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, ooh, we need to. Even with just the stage one tune, maybe we'll have to do that. But no matter what, we're racing the Evo after this has got fuel, tune, exhausts, the and it works. shoots flames. I just want flames, bro. The R35 is now a completely different unit just by a little off the shelf tune. That's insane what like that can do for a car. Now just to be honest with you guys, usually I would not recommend off the shelf type tunes. What really, it really just depends on the car itself. Off the shelf tunes are great. Cobb does a really amazing job in making them. But I will always recommend going to a pro tuner. But just like the shapes of people's butts, every car is different. My car is gonna have different needs than say some other 2009 GTRs. And while this is a great benchmark, this is a really good tune to have just to make it faster, um, it's always good to have somebody looking at the car, seeing the exact things that the car needs. So, so we are gonna be going to Trackstar this week to tune the car. Very, very excited about that. This car is going to be an absolute beast. We've got fuel from Deechworks coming and we do have a much louder exhaust on the way as well. Hope you guys are stoked for this. I'm excited to make GTR content. This is my favorite car of all time, dude. 
and it's just insane to drive now, dude. Like, absolutely crazy. <laughs> I have goofy laughs when I'm excited, boys. I want to, my daily advice, I, I still have a bunch of you guys' recommendations to talk about, but something I haven't talked about. I think your daily advice should be, be so confident you can wear these. <laughs> these pants. I wanted to mention my tattoos. You guys uh, you guys have asked me a little bit about like some of the stuff. I've gone over this one before, but I want to um, to go over them. This one is Hebrew for persevere. And as I try and preach to you guys all the time, it's important to persevere and keep going in life. But on an unrelated note, this is a gaming headset. Kind of weird, right? So growing up, gaming was like my escape. I actually stream on Twitch and I'm starting to do Mixer as well, so you guys should follow me, it's in the description. But it's sort of my escape. I grew up, like, I didn't really get along with my family, so my escape was always being in my room and uh, being online with friends. And it's also cool because, like, all of my, like, really good friends, aside from a few people, you know, that I went to high school with, like, some of my best friends I've ever made are uh, people that I've met online. So it's a big part of me to do this, but I wanted to mention this because I want you guys to be unashamed who you are. It's always so weird. When I was 13, it was weird to be the guy who played video games a lot. And it was weird. Um, even still, even now, it's like, oh, you're 24 and you play video games? That's, that's a little odd, but be unashamed. Be who you are. Enjoy what you enjoy. As long as it's not like d terrible, like a terrible thing to enjoy. Be unashamed. Be real. This actually, this tattoo is not, uh, not finished yet, but I'm going to do in Japanese. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do uh, a translation that says real or unashamed or something like that. Be pretty cool. Be unashamed of who you are and be proud of who you are. Be grateful for who you are. Deuces, guys. See you later. I want you guys to watch those two videos while I go inside and quit sweating. Okay, maybe my forehead, if you guys watch those two videos, my forehead will stop being so wet every video. You never know, guys. I would try it out if I were you. <laughs>